When you think a deliberate thought of what you want, um, then law of attraction will employ the universe and all people, circumstances and events to move you to what you've asked for and to move what you've asked for to you. And so if, if, if you think about that, there is just action would be really, really hard for you to reach all of the people, circumstances and events, manipulate all of them to receive what you want. And if you really reflect well on your life and things that have happened in your life, you kind of see that actually that happened for me. Uh, all I did was move to here or all I did was move to there and I received what I wanted. Thought creates all of the appearances in the world and thought creates everything in your life. So it's pretty darn powerful, right? And what you think about is what you get, what you focus on is what will manifest in your life. And everyone is manifesting their day every single day. We're doing it. Um, we are not aware, of course, necessarily of thoughts, but thoughts come, we energize them, and then they will manifest unless we cancel that thought out um, with another thought, with a thought that contradicts it. But I remember Lester Levinson would say, every single thought manifests. And I just thought that was incredible. I had known the secret for years and years and years. And Lester Levinson was a real master. Um, and he said, every single thought manifests. And I was just, wow, that's how powerful they are. So, so thoughts are your superpower to be, do and have what you want to experience and have and do in your life. And, and so if you ask um, an athlete or if you talk to a coach, a really brilliant coach, right, of a sports team, then you will find that visualization and these principles that I'm talking about are a big part of their training. They, they have to be, they have to see themselves winning the game. They have to see themselves winning the match. There is a really incredible tennis player that's a very big fan, a, a, um, a champion tennis player that's a really big fan of The Secret, who uses The Secret. This is what he does. He sees that he has won the match before he walks out onto that court. And and it's the same for, um, for teams. It's the same for athletes in the Olympic Games running a race and seeing that they've won. Yes, they run the race, but what has them win the race is that they saw themselves winning before they even got on the starting block and they saw it and believed it and felt it. And so they just, everything lined up for them in the perfect way. They drew the perfect lane. Everybody else was was moved in exactly the right position and they got a really great start and they won the race. And so thought is just so, so powerful. So athletes, but also do you know, the astronauts in the Apollo um, program did visualization before they went to the moon and they visualized landing back on Earth safely. And so that's how important visualization, visualization is just thought in pictures, by the way. It's, it's, it's still thought, it's just the same thing, okay? It's just thought in pictures. So if you took a person who had zero resistance and you locked them in a room, you know, if you took a person that had zero resistance, that person thought about what they wanted, zero resistance, locked them in a room, what they wanted will come to them. The universe will move people, circumstances and events and bring that right to them. It must, it absolutely must. Because if you have no resistance, you have unleashed a law that just cannot be stopped. And so you will manifest, it will come to you.